This is the Neuroelastic Institute 10 Minutes for Better Balance Level 1. This 10 minutes of exercise will help you improve your balance, walk better, and fall less. This video is not physical therapy. Always check with your doctor before starting any exercise program. Level 1 is for people who are having trouble walking on level ground, feel unsteady on their feet, and may have had a recent fall. Let's get started. For the first exercise, we're going to be performing sit to stand with a pillow on a chair. The ideal place to do these exercises is in your kitchen or some place where you can have something sturdy and firm right in front of you. You wanna sit on a nice tall chair with at least one pillow. If you're having trouble performing sit to stand with one pillow, you can always add a second pillow. Now for all the exercises in this program, we're gonna to try to do the exercise for the full time on the screen. In this case, we're gonna be doing it for two minutes. You wanna grab the chair on either side of you and help yourself push up. Once your bottom is off the chair and your head is over your toes, then you wanna reach for the countertop. It's okay to stop and take a break or do this as slowly as you wanna do it. What matters is you keep doing the activity for the full two minutes. So you're gonna push off the chair, get till your head is over your toes, then try to stand up while you're reaching for the countertop. Now, if you're really having trouble doing this with two pillows, you can even reach for the countertop a little bit sooner. But as you get stronger, you wanna do that as little as possible. The goal here is to actually try to stand up without having to push off of the chair. But the first few times that you try this, the first few weeks, it's perfectly fine if you push off the chair. Just keep in mind that the more you do these exercises, the better this is gonna get, the easier it will be for you to stand up. And that's very, very important for your balance. Now, at any point, if you wanna rest for a few seconds or a minute on the chair, that's fine. Just keep trying this activity until the time is up, no matter how many breaks you have to take. For the next exercise, we're going to try to stand heel to toe. So this exercise is a little bit different because you're gonna be standing still when you do it. You wanna put one foot in front of the other, facing the sink, with your hands on the sink. When you feel that you're steady on your feet, you wanna to try to slowly let go, hovering your hands over the sink. You don't wanna bring your hands down to your side and you definitely don't wanna raise your hands overhead because doing those two things is gonna throw off your balance and actually make this harder. The goal of this is to stand straight with one foot in front of the other balancing on your two feet. Now, some people, in order to do this, they're not gonna be able to put one foot touching the other foot. So instead of your toe touching your heel, there can be a little bit of a gap between your toe and heel. That will make this exercise easier. Some people are gonna need to have a five or six inch gap when they first start doing this. But what you wanna do is to try to have your feet close enough together so that it it takes about 20 seconds before you lose your balance. Once you, can, once you can balance for about 20 seconds in this position, then you wanna bring your feet as close as possible to make it a little bit more challenging. And you wanna to try to hold your hands up as long as you can before you need to put them back down. The only time your hands should come down is when you're losing your balance. So when you do this activity at home, you might start off looking a lot like I am right now, but as you get better at it, you'll be able to go longer and longer with your hands in the air. That's the goal, is to try to be able to balance without holding for as long as possible. Always remember to switch your feet anytime you lose your balance. Now for the third exercise, we're going to be practicing stepping to the side. So you're gonna to wanna to stand up, still the chair is behind you, grabbing the countertop, and you're gonna take two small steps to the right, and then two small steps to the left. You'll notice I'm standing in front of the sink the entire time. I'm not leaving the sink. 
That way, in case I lose my balance, I have something to grab onto. Now, when you do this exercise, you want to practice lifting the leg that's moving by putting all your weight on the other leg. So you don't want to slide your feet or shuffle your feet. You actually want to lift the leg that's moving. So in order to lift that leg, you're going to have to put all your pressure on the other leg. And if you notice, when someone does this correctly, they're going to feel that they're shifting their weight from side to side as they step first left and then right. So if you step to the right, you're going to be shifting your weight to the left every time you move your right leg. And then the same is true when you move your left leg. In the beginning, you can do this with, with your hands holding onto the counter the whole time. But as you get better, you can start to let go of the counter and do it with your hands in the air. You just need to make sure that your hands are there in case you lose your balance. Don't do this exercise with your hands at your side. It's actually very dangerous to do that because if you lose your balance, you might not be able to grab onto the edge of the countertop fast enough. And again, the reason that I'm doing this at a sink is because it's a lot easier to grab on to the edge of the sink where my hands are if I'm losing my balance. If you're just on a countertop, it's a lot harder to grab onto it and you could lose your balance and fall. As far as how fast you do this, you really want to do it fairly slow. What's important is that you're lifting your leg up high when you slide it out to the side, and as you get better, that you're lifting your hands off. Now, we're going to do the last exercise, which is standing on one leg. Now, this is definitely the hardest of the four exercises, and we're going to try to do this for three minutes instead of two minutes, because it's very important. But Anytime you're getting tired, you can either just stop and stand to catch your breath or you can sit back down again. It doesn't matter as long as you keep trying for the full three minutes. Now, when you do this exercise, it's very important that you shift all your weight over to the leg that you're standing on before you lift your hands up. It's a mistake that a lot of people make is to lift their leg up before they shift their weight over, and then they'll find it very difficult to do. A lot of people, when they start this exercise, they're only able to let go of the countertop for just one second or just two seconds, and their, their leg comes right back down again. If that's you, just know that if you keep trying it every day, as many times as you can for the three minutes, it will get easier and you will be able to lift your leg for a longer period of time as, as time goes by. Sometimes it takes weeks before you'll start to see an improvement. Everyone is different. Some people might be able to try this and within just one session, they're able to do it for 20 seconds and they're ready for our level two exercises. Other people, it can take weeks. But I've never seen a patient that's done this that didn't seem to improve in a couple of weeks. So almost anyone, no matter what their problem is, can improve their balance by doing this. This is a very important type of balance because being able to stand on one leg means you can walk without shuffling and without your feet wide apart. So once you can do this, your balance will be greatly improved. Now, you wanna do this as slow as possible and again, take as many breaks as you want. If you want to stop and stand for a few minutes in the middle of this, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to keep going at the same pace that I am. What's important is that you do this for the full three minutes, as slowly as you want with as many breaks as you want. Always keep in mind that when you do it, you should be putting all your weight on the leg that you're standing on and your hips have to shift over on top of that leg. I have another video called the best exercise for balance and that goes into this in a little bit more depth. But for this exercise program, you just wanna keep trying to shift your weight over the leg that you're standing on and letting go of the counter. Anytime you wanna stop and take a break, you can do it. It doesn't matter how long of a break you take or how many times you have to sit down, as long as you stand up and keep trying it for the full three minutes. And I think what you'll find is over time, it will get better.
it's okay to try as many times as you can on one leg. What's important is that you keep trying. And that concludes our 10 minutes for better balance level one exercises from the Neuroelastic Institute. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to access my full training course, click the link below in the description.